Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick. Tim Alonzo getting caught up on Outcast episodes eight and nine. Uh, the something within, right? What lurks within. What lurks within and, and close, close to, to home. home. All right. Uh, so you know, as we've been saying a lot of times on these recaps, the, it's the next to last episode where something really major happens now, so that the finale can be sort of the picking up the pieces and also setting up whatever you know, cliffhanger is going to be happening. Right. So obviously, the major thing uh, is Megan. <laughs> she is possessed, if that's the term we're still she using. She is possessed, um, which is terrible, uh, and also it kind of a little hot. Uh, well, I mean, you know, I, Same. I, obviously they had to cast an actress who was, you know, I'm sure in the get go. By the way, in episode nine, we're going to be showing your breasts. I hope you're okay with that. Um, but it de it definitely underscores the whole thing about why the camper was there. Right. You know, there is a transition period where they're like, you know, and, and a poor Mark found himself in the crossfire there. Um, and now we know that because the last two episodes we learned everything that there is to know about this possession from Sydney and Ogden. It pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I think what's interesting about how the, what the last two episodes have put forth is the notion that... Uh, sometimes people are better possessed than when they aren't. <laughs> like Sydney was clearly a creepy pedophile uh, with a kidnapped, chained boy in his garage, but possessed Sydney let him go. Um, and I mean, possessed Sydney's done some pretty fucked up shit. Well, <laughs> I'm not letting him he off the hook. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, him. unpossessed Sydney might be worse, you know. Uh, and then, and then, obviously, the fire chief seems to like the possessed version of his wife better, but that could just be because he's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just yeah. putting that out there. It could you be. Know. It could be. Um, so yeah. So, but it 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 certainly I think uh, 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 not. I don't think we've ever seen that put forth in a kind of devil show or no, movie before. No, I really before. like it. I yeah, really, really like. Oh, like okay. It. So actually, you're you were worse before. You know, we, we got the hint of that with Caleb, where he said it was nice and warm and welcoming. Right, and he really right. Enjoyed it. But now we we get all the rules, and that is, um, for one, they don't get to pick. They just randomly pop into somebody. Yeah. Two, there's like a really harsh coming down period where apparently they're psychotic and want to kill people and have a thirst for blood and right, right. crazy rubbing blood all over their hands and smashing bugs on the wall. So mm. that's that's a thing that you sort of get over and then you're a normal symbiotic relationship type person. Yeah. And you may be better for it. Um, yeah, so I, I, but obviously there's still the question of like, why is it always people who are close to Kyle and what's this merge thing and, uh, you know, there, there are, I think, still some, some, some questions left to be answered. And, and then, uh, you know, obviously there's the, the human cost of this stuff, you know, and so there's, you know, trying to work out all the, the things with the wife and, and the poor daughter, like, is now getting traumatized even more because she's literally witnessing this happening before her eyes. Um, and, and, you know, seeing, come, I mean, obviously, who, who discovered Mark's body but those two little girls, you know, right. off camera, thankfully, but still, ugh. And what does the possession mean in a person who's pregnant? Is the, oh, is yeah. the baby also oh, possessed? Oh, right, I is, forgot about that. Are they gonna, is that going to come to term? Is that going to be a problem? Mm. Is, I don't know. Yeah, no, no, no. Yes, okay, that's that's a big question. <laughs> I, I, I had written that down at some point and then I totally forgot about it. But yeah, that's that's a shit show right there waiting to happen. Um, so yeah, I, you know, there, there is, this this show has been a slow boil, which I like. Like there's, oh, yeah. there's not this big sort of devil apocalypse that's happening. It's sort of like this, it's it, it's all in this one town and it's, it, it's one by one and, you know, win a few, lose a few. Um, and and you know just kind of the 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 scope of like you know for example the the kid of the guy that that Reverend Anderson is dating it's not you know he could care less about the whole devil thing he just wants to get rid of this guy the the stakes are actually pretty low for everyone except for at the end of episode 9 when yeah. when Mark is killed but like Reverend Anderson like doesn't really get arrested and he just gets kicked out of his church he's playing right into Sydney's hand every step and, of the way that's yeah one thing about him is like and he even knows he's doing it and he does it anyway and it's like dude a little self preservation here like you know maybe don't just willingly walk into every trap that's been set for you, you know, but... You know, How many we, opportunities do you get to punch the devil in the face, right? Uh, fair enough. But 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 he, but he does it like three or four, <laughs> yeah. like three or four times at this point. It's like, <laughs> He's dude, abusing the privilege. Yeah, you, you know, you're, you're, they, they, they keep doing the, you got something on your shirt because you keep falling for it, you know. <laughs> um, so Amber is with Kyle now. 
and Al Allison dropped him off. Right. Un under the guise of reconciliation, but then she just checked herself into a mental health. Oh yeah, that hospital. Like that mental hospital. That was that's like something out of a. <sighs> That's like where they take Blanche Dubois at the end of Streetcar Named Desire. Like that is some old school, <laughs> gothic-y, like no mental institution in a you know, or no psychiatric facility in America. Just I would venture lithium looks down your throat like that. I mean, like, it, yeah, it, it's like it's like one of those like like you know, it's a it's a Frederick Wisen movie from the late '60s. You know, it's just it's it's, it's so creepy and, and overdone and and dangerous. So you don't have giant windows in a room with a bunch of suicidal, potentially if, suicidal if people. If a place has no visitors, why have a reception desk? <laughs> No visitors, sorry. All right, right this way. That's, the, yeah, good. I had not even thought about that, but you're right. That's like being the comics editor of the New York Times, right. you know. Um, yeah, so, okay, that was a little ridiculous. But, uh, you know, I, I did kind of like the scene with Allison's mother, though, where she's still, like, blaming Kyle for everything. Yeah, which and, I get. That's actually gonna a do, reasonable you know? reaction to all of this. Uh, of course, yes. You know, and from the outside perspective, that would make perfect sense. Um yeah, what else? I'm trying to think of that we might be missing in all this. Um, Ogden and his wife have a new mission. They were chased out of town, but then Sydney snapped them up and said, "Hey, this basement full of mannequins is where I need you." <sighs> right. So that's the new camper, basically. I get. I don't know. I guess. I. I think it's promotion. I think it's a bigger deal than like help people get through this, but we don't know what it is. Oh, that's true. Else. Yeah. Okay. So that's. I guess that's a, a yet to be revealed as well. Um, yeah. I. I'm sorry. I'm. It's been a while. It's been a while now. Uh, yeah. uh, We're not great at getting these out. And I'm, and I'm watching like five other shows. I'm like, I'm saying, no, that was on Scream. Oh, no, that was on Unreal. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I think that's where we are with this. Um, so, you know, when, I'm sure you'll tell us what we've forgotten in the comments, but uh, we'll be back at some point real soon to talk about the finale and uh, where this thing is going. It does, the second, episode, second season has been announced. Oh, yeah. yes. They actually just started filming. All right. Okay. So, so that's a that's a done deal. It's happening, and so yeah. So we'll see where season one leaves things, and what are the unanswered questions, and what are the cliffhangers, and uh, where to go from there. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.